Let's call this meeting to order. Mr. Porter, can you please conduct a prayer and a salute to the flag? God of the universe, look with favor upon those here assembled and give them their, your guidance in their discussions. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In the event of an emergency, everybody knows where the exits are. They're right behind you. Please, I know there's only about five, six of you trying not to trample over each other. And everybody can take one door, so we'll go on nice, happy. Any member of the public wishing to speak during the public comment session, you have to write your name on the list on the front. So please do it now. And turn all your cell phones off. Anyone that uh, needs to make a phone call, please go outside. If your phone rings, I'm going to be collecting them. Uh, Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Mr. Kalbus. Byer. Here. Brown. Yes. Brooks. Here. Cosby Hurling. Present. Sadowski. Here. Strano. Here. Yamakaitis. Here. Medina. Here. Hickey. Yes. Mr. Alvarez. Here. Uh, ordinance continue from the October 20, 2015 meeting 5943. Public hearing was held at October 28th meeting, and the ordinance has been continu continue since then. If there's any desire to remove from the table, if the ordinance isn't removed from the table, then it will die tomorrow at midnight. Okay. I have to give my excuses. This is the first time I had to do this particular thing. Our ordinance continue from the December 15, 2015 meeting, ordinance 5950 and 5951? Fi yes. That's a little, okay, 5950 and 5951. The public hearing was held at December 15, 2015 meeting, and the ordinance was continued. Is there anyone decided to remove from the table? Fifty-nine, forty-nine, and fifty-nine, fifty. Okay, let's say that again. Fifty-nine, forty-nine, and fifty-nine, fifty. Any of these two ordinances have been tabled. Is there a desire to remove them from being tabled? Fifty-fifty. Now, okay. Uh, presently, there is no consent agenda since we had our meeting a couple weeks ago. We have resolutions: twenty fifteen, four twenty-nine through twenty fifteen, four thirty-three. Public comment will be permitted for those specific resolutions to be removed from the consent approval. Please read the synopsis of the resolutions which have been prepared by the city's clerk's office. Each informative and self-explanatory. Let me, um, uh, Mr. Antonelli, uh, let me excuse myself before we get into the resolutions. This is about the ordinances? Uh, yes, Council President. It's my understanding that the two reading uh, two ordinances that are being tabled are 5950 and 5951. That is correct. Then why do I have the wrong number? No, 5940. Yes, sir. 5950 and 5951. Anything else, Ms. Antonelli? Uh, that's it, Council President. All right, thank you. Uh, back to the resolutions, and the public comments will be permitted for those specific resolutions to be removed from the consent approval. Please read the synopsis of the resolutions which have been prepared by the city clerk's office. Each is informative and self-explanatory. However, if you wish to address a specific resolution, the council will entertain questions on it. Does anyone wish to remove a resolution 429 through 433? 
since no resolutions have been removed, I will, uh, I would like to get a motion for resolutions 2015-429 through 2015-433. Council President, I make a motion to move resolutions 2015-429 through 2015-433 and ask for a second. Second. Mr. Byer. Yes. Brown. Yes to all, abstain on 433. Brooks. Yes. Abstain. Sorry. You're abstaining on? 33. 32. 432. Oh, I got to abstain on that too. Cosby Harling. Yes. Sadowski. Yes. Strano. I vote yes on all with the exception of 2015 432, which I abstain on. Yamakaitis. Yes. Medina? Yes. Hickey? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. City Clerk, I just want to make sure you have me abstaining. Oh, uh, let me abstain on 432. I'm sorry. Mr. Brown, it was, I have you abstaining on 432 and 433. Yeah. Okay. I hope people understand the reason for the abstain is that we have family. Thank you. Comments from the members of the public attendance on city business only. No personal, political, or derogatory comments. This will not exceed five minutes. If anybody comes up here and starts talking to somebody else within those five minutes, you still only get five minutes. Anyone who did not get a chance to sign in the signing sheets to speak at this time, please come up and sign in. Anybody? Okay, let's start with Mr. Hugh Shropsall. Yes, sir. I press the button. Thank you. Okay. Hi. Uh, Hugh Shrubsall, uh, Linden, Melrose Terrace, Ninth Ward, <coughs> formerly of the Fifth Ward. So, um, first council meeting I've ever been to. Uh, last week on the 23rd, I got trees planted on my property. Can I pass them around so you can see? Sure. Before and after pictures. So, um, all right. So, uh, my complaint is I did not want these trees. I have history with Jeff Tandel from the Shade Tree Commission three years ago. My councilman at Medina can uh, tell you about that. Anyway, I was su surprised that we got these trees. Um, there was no notice no um, that we were going to get the trees. I don't even know what kind of trees they are. The morning the truck pulled up and I went outside and told the guys it was a mistake. He came charging up the lawn. He was kind of rude and, and arrogant. And I said, but we're, we're not on the list. And he said that Medina took us off the list to get a tree and that he put us back on. And I, and I told him, well, let me call the mayor. And he told me, go ahead, call your councilman, call the mayor. They don't have a say in this issue. So I want to find out, is, is this true that this guy has more authority than, than the city council and, and the mayor? So what I'm asking today is just help to get those trees dug up and planted somewhere else. We, we've been there 18 years. We never had trees. We, we spent over $6,000 on our landscaping, and, and he just ruined it. And for this time, when I went out there, we, like I said, we had history. He told me, you got exempt last time. This time you're getting trees. So I feel that me and my neighbor, Kathy Borsch, and her mom, Charlotte Borsch, 93 years old, were targeted that he, he just got our two houses on this block. So I'm just asking for your help to get these, these trees. Oh, and as far as trees goes, my wife does our landscaping and she picked out eight trees that we have planted on our property. One Japanese um, red maple, two whipping cherries, and five evergreens. So we, we do have trees on our property. And, and it just, the, the neighbors would compliment me that the uh, property looks good and now I'm getting negative feedback. So it's just like, I don't know how he can, he did explain to me that the first 10 feet is city property, but you know, he got into that who maintains it, I do, but he was just very arrogant and, and, and he said he had a vision about planting these trees, but he's not here to say what was said, but that's, this is what I'm telling you. And you can see we got the trees and I don't want them. And my neighbor's not here today, um, but I, she sent the letter and um, so I'm asking for your help to a resolution or something. If, um, if we can get them, you know, this. I looked on the website about the uh, Shade Tree Commission, which I never heard of before the, this uh, time three years ago. 
the description says that uh, he's in charge of planning uh, along the highways and city parks, not in about our houses, and that's from the website here. So, um, like I said, he was rude, arrogant, and, and, uh, and you know, I'm there 18 years, never bother nobody. You know, we take care of our property, and then, and then this, this comes along. So, that's all I can say is, you know, I ask for your help. Uh, thank you, sir. Well, Councilman Medina will be in touch with you. Edward Shrubsall. Yeah, hi. Hi, uh, Edward Shrubsall, Fifth Ward. I don't have a complaint. I just have a concern. And my concern is, is the Park Avenue Bridge. Uh, when you're coming over to Park Avenue Bridge from the highway and you've got to make a left, they painted the arrows to go left right by the bowling alley there. They put two arrows in but they're too close to the corner to turn by that, you know, by the light, by, by the area, by the light. So, and they put up a couple signs, but if you're coming around that way over the bridge, a big trailer, you won't see those signs if the trailer's on the, on the right side. So all I'm asking is that, that they should, the, the arrows are good that are there, but they should put a couple more as you're just coming up over the bridge so the drivers can know that, hey, I gotta go left here. We go over the bridge all the time, because like, you know, I live in the Fifth Ward there and, and go to St. Hedwig's Church and all that, but whatever. And so many cars, by the time they get there to see the arrows, they just go straight. And I don't want any accidents or anything like that, because then they sue the city, and that all comes back on the taxpayer and all that stuff. So that's my only concern is that. One other concern I had with my son Hugh here, with his trees and everything like that, he was explaining to me how this man talked to him and approached him and everything like that. And that's not being professional. And that, and I, I think this man is wrong. And if he was here, I would tell him he's wrong. That's not how you do business. That's not how you talk to people, you know. And my other thing is I want to wish you all a happy new year. Okay, Thank you. happy new year. Thank you. Council President. Afterwards. Uh, Mr. Len Polsnock. Members of the City Council, Council President, Mayor, uh, we came here tonight because we attended that first meeting and we had the impression that there was going to be another meeting here tonight to carry on this uh, resolution that has been placed before, before you all. Uh, I understand now it's been temporarily postponed for another date. Uh, unfortunately, we live in Monroe Township, which is about an hour away, and uh, I guess we'll sit around and then go home and we are scheduled to meet our grandchildren, which we have five out of six that live permanently in California. So uh, I've dropped a card on Councilman Brown's desk stating the telephone numbers where we're gonna be for three months. It's the only opportunity we get to be with our grandchildren. And uh, we certainly can be found there right and uh i wish you all a happy healthy new year and thank you very much thank you sir and lastly uh mrs posnack no what a happy new year okay thank you Well, let's wait for the study. Let's wait till this comes up again, and then I guess there has to be a meeting with everybody. I sound like no, no, ma'am, not at all. You have every right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I need a motion to close the public comment. Need a second? Second. Mr. Kalbus? Uh, Mr. Byer? Yes. Brown? Yes. Brooks? Yes. Cosby Harling? Yes. Sadowski? Yes. Strano? Yes. Yamakaitis? Yes. Medina? Yes. Hickey? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. At this time, we're going to have uh, the council people answer some of the uh, comments that we had. Uh, Ms. Cosby? Hi, Mr. Shubb. So I got your email, I mean your voicemail, and I thought I was responding, but I found out later that it was a landline, not a mobile phone. So I spoke to public property, which is transportation and parking. The supervisor is Tyrone Givens. He has agreed to add the arrow and with the words ahead. However, he hasn't done it. It took me a long time to get the arrow put back. So he's, he's going to do it, and he's going to actually put ahead below it so that we can, everybody's clear, and it's safer. So absolutely. Um, but thank you. So I did try and touch bases with you. So I'm glad you're here, too. Um, but for those of you in TV land, just happy new year. We're looking forward to a productive 2016 with our council here and the participation of my neighbors, as usual. So those concludes my comments. Wait, I'm going to get in trouble. And I want to congratulate my neighbor who's in the, in the room, actually, for winning this year's contest, the Lukenda family on Garfield Street. They did win the light contest, and they won last year, too, right? The year before. The year before. Uh, See, they, they, they're, doing it, they're doing it big, but I want to tell everyone in the Fifth Ward, the decorations were beautiful. It just made the whole neighborhood look different. You know, there was a cheer in the air. A lot more people decorated this year, so I'm looking forward to next year and seeing, you know, what the decorations are going to be. So those really conclude my Thank you. Just a minute, 24 seconds. You owe me 24 seconds. Any other council person? Council President. Uh, who? Uh, Councilman Medina? It'll be real quick. You know, I'll be in touch in reference to the trees. I will, the council did receive the letter from Kathy, your neighbor, and uh, we'll discuss it further and, and I'll keep you up to date. You know, we're right around the corner from each other. We'll, we'll, we'll find a solution for this. Thank you. Councilman Brown? In regards to Jeff, and I wasn't there, I don't know the dialogue. I can say this Jeff does, um, I just have to defend him. He does some great work within the city. I don't know the circumstance that happened with you guys. I can tell you my experience is that I had a neighbor who was against trees. He told me, he lives right across the street from me, they marked it off, and this happened last week. Uh, and a guy, the neighbor told me, I don't want a tree, Peter. I forgot, Jeff was about to be there to plant a tree. I had a text message from, from, from Jeff. Hey, your neighbor's here, he's talking to me, not about a tree, blah, blah, blah. Don't plant a tree, that was the end of the conversation. I come back home a half an hour later, the guys are talking you know, for, for like another 10, 20 minutes. So I don't know the circumstances that happen for you and Jeff. And, and I can't speak for Jeff. And I, 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 I have a feeling Jeff will come and talk to you guys and it was, I don't know, bad day, whatever. But I, I just don't want people thinking that Jeff is this guy who's like this all the time. Because my dealing with Jeff is, he, he's been good. I mean, he's brought in a lot of trees to grant money. He, he does work his hardest. I'm sorry, you know, there were some issues, but I'm pretty sure it could be worked out. Thank you, Councilman. One minute, 12 seconds. Very good. Okay. No more other? Bob? Oh. I just wanted to wish everyone a happy new year. They tell me I never talk, so now I'm talking. Okay, thank you. Bob, that was very good. 10 seconds. Councilwoman Hickey? It's going to be more than 10 seconds, but I just want to remind everybody, January 30th is uh, Linden Housing Authority's annual casino night. I do have tickets. My phone number is 908-347-4548. You can also purchase them at the Ann Ferguson Towers at 1601 Dill Avenue. It's a fabulous night. Uh, I want to wish everyone a very, very happy new year. Um, Mr. Shawsball, we go way back to St. John the Apostle. Um, you have a wonderful family, a beautiful property, and I'm very confident that uh, your councilman, who I love working with, is really, he'll help you out and take care of things. Uh, Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you, Councilwoman. Under a minute. We're doing great today. Councilman Brooks. Mine will be the same. Happy New Year, everyone. Um, 
Fourth Ward, first year, it's been my pleasure. I work for you guys. You guys inform me of what you need to know and what I need to know, and I make sure that I get out and make sure that information comes to everybody. So for those residents in the Fourth Ward and those residents for the city of Linden, please, you know, it's, it's getting to be fun seeing you at ShopRite and saying hi to me and saying I'm a little taller than you thought I was. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> so please, continue to approach me. It's fun to have you approach me. Fourth Ward, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Happy holidays. For those who are new to the Fourth Ward, Welcome. For those we lost, our condolences to the family. Thank you again. Thank you, Councilman Brooks. Anybody else? Yes, Mr. President. Yeah, I'd just like to wish everybody out there a happy new year. Um, if you're going to drink, drink responsibly. Our children are out there, and um, your children and family members also. So if you're going to enjoy the New Year's, enjoy it safely. And happy New Year's, everyone. Thank you, Councilman Byers. Councilwoman Yamakaitis. Yes, I just also would like to wish everyone a happy new year and I look forward to working with everyone on the council in the 2016. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> Councilwoman Yamakaitis, I didn't even get a chance to turn it on. I had to reset. We have to, tr yes, you beat the timer. So um, we're done for the year. First year through, we have uh, new people coming in which are being welcomed with open arms, and we have to move forward. It seems like uh, we had a little bit of uh, rough waters, but a lot of us were on, uh, on the learning curve. So now we're going to start doing things a little bit different and work more for the people, which is the reason that we're here for. So to all of you, a happy new year, and uh, enjoy yourself, enjoy your family, enjoy your grandkids. Thank you, everybody. The following council meetings will be as follows. The organization meeting of the 2016 council will be as follows. Council conference meeting prior to the council meeting, Tuesday, January 5th, 2016 at 6 p.m. in the council conference room, City Hall, 301 Northwood Avenue. The council meeting, Tuesday, January 5th, 2016 at 7 p.m. in the council chambers, City Hall, 301 Northwood Avenue. I need a motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. Mr. Byer. Yes. Brown? Yes. Brooks? Yes. Cosby Hurling? Yes. Sadowski? Yes. Strano? Yes. Yamakaitis? Yes. Medina? Yes. Hickey? Yes. Mr. Alvarez? Yes. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year, Linda.